going live. <laughs> Hang on a second, I've got to fix this. Let me flip that back the right way around. Sorry, I hit the button the wrong time. That was funny. I think, there we go. All right. <laughs> I went live without realizing it. Okay. That was kind of like flip the wrong way around. So I'd flip my screen just for, you know, right hand, left hand, so you see the right way around. All right. Hi, welcome to my broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. Um, I think the way things are going, five here may be my better time. I keep saying the time I'm going to do it. Well, it, I shouldn't do that because I don't know what it's going to be. Let's start over, shall we? Hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live broadcast. Um, I, <laughs> I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day. This is Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 334, 35, 35, excuse me. I'm trying to get track of all these. There have been so many. Um, and today's topic is provocative, shall we say. And certainly something that I would say, if you're watching this, you probably have, have um, experienced or done. That's not the same thing. And we've all done this. So... I want to talk about this a little bit first and show you some solutions and some reasons why and explain the whole thing. So the, quick, the topic on the table today is, do you, lie to, do you lie to yourself in relationship? And I said, probably, because most of us do. Hi, Bonnie. Nice to have you here. Um, thanks for saying hi. So what I mean by this, and you can consider this for yourself, is that when we fall in love, actually sometimes before that, when we start meeting somebody and go, well, they're nice and they're interested in them and you start going through the, the dance of courtship, there's a tendency to set up rules, intentions, dreams, visions, goals, ideas even about the relationship that are not necessarily tangible. Or possible or likely but there's another piece i'm going to get to in a moment that's one piece but i'm going to get to another piece in a moment so bear with me so one of the things we set up we set up the framework of the relationship in our imagination inaccurately based upon what we think had happened versus reality and then we find ourselves lying about it to ourselves i mean as in we break our truth we say what we want but what we get is something different from that that basically is um, lying to ourselves in a way but there's another piece to this i want to speak to which is once you're in that relationship, when you, and I want to go a little bit darker in this one, because this is the one that a lot of people don't talk about much, but it's the truth what happens, especially for those of you who've been staying in a relationship longer than you know you should have. The choice that you may be making, or have made in the past, because you may have gone through this and escaped it, is to pretend things were better than they were, or pretend things were different than they were, to pretend that your relationship was working great when you actually knew on a deep level that it wasn't working and that your partner perhaps was drinking too much or going out with other women when they said they wouldn't do that or is working too hard or is actually not taking care of you at home. Maybe they're holding off on sex or maybe they're actually sexually abusing you. I mean, there's a range of this stuff. But how many of you, uh, well, I was going to say how many of you, because it depends who's watching. You may have been the person who was willing to say that it's fine, it's okay, there will change. Or that this is what love's supposed to be like. And it's a lie. I didn't realize I was going to go with this police, but I guess I'm going here now. I had a different flavor to put in here at the beginning when I started this talk, because I didn't really know what I was going to talk about. And if you haven't seen my broadcast before, these are always unplanned, unscripted, and free flow. So I didn't realize I'd be end up here, but I want to speak to this point since I'm here at this point. If you've been in a situation where you've allowed yourself to put up with some crap behavior, you've suffered, or you've been hurt, or abused, or wounded emotionally, physically, or mentally, but you convince yourself that it was okay by lying to yourself, first thing is, it's okay. Judging yourself for making a mistake, judging yourself for lying like this, judging yourself for putting up with something like this is not going to help. 
and I'm, I'm, I'm watching myself just pace this one because I want to be sure you get this because for some of you watching this, this is painful, I know. Um, this is something that several of my clients have been through, so I know what it feels like, and I've been through something similar myself. Um, where you know, overstayed your welcome type thing. If this is something you've been through, the first thing is remember that your intention was love. First of all, your intention was love. Was your first intention, focus, um, priority. Remembering that, I hope, gives you a sense that you can let yourself off the hook. Because you may have somehow judged yourself that you should have been able to fix it, change it, make the other person change their behavior and everything else. That's another lie, to be honest, because you have no control that way. You may want to threaten them to change or they're going to lose you or something like that. That's not going to work either. The truth is the only thing you can do is take care of yourself. And stepping out and taking care of yourself to heal, to move forward, to do better is absolutely a priority. I'm just hearing somebody yelling outside. I may actually go see what that's about in a moment. So let me try to get this message out before I get pulled into that conversation outside. Because somebody's yet someone's in a very upset emotional state. I can hear it out. I don't even hear it over the microphone, but I can hear it outside. And they was in the street. Okay. I tend to stay present for this broadcast because they may have to get counseling too. Um, if you found yourself in a situation where you've been in a place that wasn't respecting yourself, that wasn't appreciating yourself, and you told yourself something that wasn't true, it's again, it's okay. I'm not saying it's okay to do it, but you made the mistake. And to beat yourself up for it, to judge yourself harshly, or to make yourself punish yourself for some reason for doing that is not, a, not an ideal approach. You don't have to do that. But what you do um, need to do is to do some serious inventory for yourself. Self-review, self-reflection, self-regard to see yourself truly, honestly, as a reality so you can know for yourself that who you are and what you um, deserve is better than what you put up with in the past. Um, recent conversations with a couple of people is for both of these women was that they have chosen relationships where it was not to the level they really wanted to be at, but they thought this is the best they can do. This old oh, is another one. One of those lies. This is the best you can have, so you've got to settle down, settle for it. Mm -mm. Never do that. You can have what you really want if you're really sure to hold on to it. To hold on to it. And I don't mean you can say you want that particular person because that's control. You can't do that. Not recommended. But you can be clear that what you've been settling for isn't what you need to settle for. You can actually go higher than that. You can have the most amazing relationship if you're willing to by just being true to yourself. Um, I'm already thinking about all things I can offer you in my programs, but I won't do that because I want to keep this to a fairly um, heart-centered and truth-based conversation. See, now I'm wondering where they went because the verses, the verses went quiet, so now I'm just going, what happened to them? This is the challenge of being in my, my work. There's a compassion and a care that leads out, which is one of my challenges, to contain it and to maintain my own space. Which is another lesson for you too, perhaps, in your experience in relationship. You may have gone above and beyond to love the other person beyond where you maybe should have done because they were actually hurting you or rejecting you or ignoring you. And it was never going to work. So you were holding for a possibility that didn't happen. And that as well is, a, is an approach that doesn't work. It, it doesn't. I mean, once in a blue moon, you might be able to convince the other person to come back to you, but ultimately it's not going to work. So your priority, again, as I said at the beginning, is love yourself, support yourself, appreciate yourself, and give yourself a clear look in the mirror. Like, see yourself clearly to see where you've chosen less than you deserve, to choose for things that weren't lining up for you, and to really um, make a different choice. And... Okay, I'm going sideways on this one for a second. There's a lot in the news, and I talked about this yesterday, about with Facebook having its dating app, and all these people about going on dates and everything else. This talk isn't for those people who are out on dates, or that might be. It's really for people who've been through some challenging relationships before they go on dates. So yes, before you choose those apps. If you've been doing this in the past, it's likely you might do it in the future unless you make some changes. So... And let's say it's another way. 
You deserve healthy, amazing relationships. Everybody does. So choosing for something less than that is not recommended, not required, and not healthy. So don't do it, <laughs> simply put. But if you're not sure how to break out of that, that's where my work comes in. Um, I think I made my point clear enough. I do offer my gift to you every time on my broadcast is to grab a session of my time for free as my gift to you. Although I may I start charging for that, but right now it's a complimentary gift, a conversation about clarity, about giving you guidance where you want to go. If you go to my website, which is barrysober.com, and click on the Let's Chat menu, or in fact, you can just go to barrysober.com forward slash chat and sign up for it there. Um, we can talk, and I can offer you some guidance, some clarity, and some next steps. This is an um, interesting conversation. I didn't, interesting monologue, rather. I didn't know I was going to go here, but it's the way it went. So this is my um, service to provide these talks every day. This is one of my 330-plus broadcasts. So you can find all my other ones, including this one later on, on my business page, which is barryselby.author on Facebook, as well as on my uh, YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, and one on, also on my video blog on my website, again, which is barryselby.com. If this is resonance for you, please reach out for help. Don't sit still and think you can put up with it. It's not worth it. And... Um, I think that's about it. I'm just thinking if there's any homework for this. Yes, there is homework. I've got homework. <laughs> it's a weekday, so there's homework. So if there's something that resonates for you, that has that triggers for you, and has an, um, you can feel it inside, literally like stabbing pain perhaps, do some journaling on this. Write about what you've said yes to that wasn't true. Write about what you've promised but not delivered. Write about what you thought you'd have and didn't get, as in those broken promises. And sit with that. And if this is sticking up for you and it's not working for you, reach out to me. Uh, if you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please point them below. If there's anybody you think should see this, please share it with them. Um, it's funny, I feel there's something else I need to say, but it's not coming through, so maybe tomorrow's broadcast. Um, thank you for watching me, watching this broadcast. Thanks for joining me for this. And I will be back in tomorrow. I don't have anything else. Okay, it's gone. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. And uh, be well. Bye.